up into your Friday workout. We are working it today with the sculpting tube with door anchor. So you can see that I've got it securely fastened in the door here. Really important that you get it securely fastened because you're about to put a lot of body weight into it. So we're going to start off with our big muscle groups first. We're going to go straight into our workout and warm up as we go. So the big muscle group, my favourite, favourite exercise to hit it is a squat. So you're going to walk back until there's tension on the ropes or on the sculpting tube. So you're going to squat down and then you're going to pull <laughs> and stand up. That was a bit of a test if you just move. Pull and then stand up. So I'm choosing a wide grip row. So I take my elbows out wide to the side and then come up. But if you wanted to, you could do a close grip row. So you're rowing. It's going to work the back of your body. It's working your back, your posterior chain. The back is your posterior chain or your posterior while you're working the big muscle groups. You can change things up and maybe come down and stay down for multiple reps. And this makes your legs really burn. I can really feel my core working here because it's got to keep me low down and engaged the whole time. It's also about a thousand degrees in the sun out here too. <laughs> so, whew, working hard and then coming up and sinking down again. Alrighty, I have to say I'm waiting for, <laughs> I am waiting for the beeps on my little seconds pro to, pro to go off and tell me I've done enough squats. Because I trained legs already this morning <laughs> and I am working hard. So good to work the big muscle major group, the big major muscle groups first. So your heart rate drives up and then it's going to stay up as we move into the rest of our workout. All right, I'm going to come up. I'm going to change the positioning of my feet a little bit. So a little bit narrower start. So again, I'm going to come down and hold. I'll go about 10 seconds. All right, so that's my leg line really hammered. That's my front of body really hammered. I'm going to change over now, my back of body, and I'm going to work my front of body. So I've swapped my arm line over, and I'll walk out until I feel a bit of tension on the sculpting tube. I'm going to take my arms as I'm going to do a bench press. So my knuckles go forward, and I press and come back. Press and come back. You can see that I've taken my tension too far because I can't get my arms fully extended. Now I've got the right positioning. So it's okay to reposition if you find that the first positioning isn't working for you. What I want is full extension and then retraction. And when I come back, I still want to have tension on those tubes so that my muscles are still working hard even at the start position. And when I push forward, they're working even harder. All right. So again, I can change my positioning a little bit here. If I wanted to do wide, a wider fly, see how I've rotated my arms around, and I'm going to curve my arms. And rather than going to full extension with my arms, I'm going to bring them around in front of me and then release out. So again, still working through my chest. Just taking a slightly different angle so that the muscles work in a slightly different way. I can feel all of my core is still really switched on and working hard to hold me steady and hold me upright. And I've got a bend in my knees so that all of the muscles in my legs have to work and stay working. I'm not locking out my joints and switching off my muscles. Everything is working. And again, chest is a big muscle group. So we've hit legs heavy. We've hit back of body. We've just hit the front of the body. Now we're going to start to move into some slightly smaller muscle groups. So I'm going to hold. I'm going to do this. I'm going to step out wide. I'm going to hold both of my handles. And then I'm just going to rotate out. And you can see I've got my hand on my tummy to really make sure that I keep my core engaged here. Because what I don't want to do is this because then I'm not working anything. So I want to keep my core steady. I want to come out, feel that rotation at my shoulder, and then squeeze back in. Rotate out. 
and I don't know if you can see that, but my arm was really shaking and jerking because I'm really working hard in these little muscle groups to control this action. Can you see that? <laughs> I'm trying to keep my shoulder blade down my back, keep my chest lifted, so I'm not collapsing into the movement. I'm staying open. I'm staying engaged. I'm going to swap that over to the other side. You're just going to see the back of me now. I come out till I feel that tension go on, and then I rotate out, and I come back in. This is my strong side, so this feels a lot more comfortable for me, as much as working hard and putting tension through your muscles is ever comfortable. One thing you do want to really focus on here is keeping strong at the wrist. So we don't want to let the wrist fail or fall. We want to keep the wrist in line with the forearm. And so the rotation is coming at the shoulder rather than at the wrist. You're welcome to do this with just one side or one part of the tube if you want to make it a little bit easier. And if you want to make it harder, you just step further away from the door anchor. And that'll work well for you. Just checking in on what I've got now, French press. All right, so into my triceps. Again, I'm going to flip myself around. So triceps, French press. You can do this with your tubes or you can hold weight plates. You can do your French press with both hands holding the one thing. And again, you want to lean forward. Now, I'm going to step one foot forward and take a split stance, scooping my tail, knit down my front ribs, and then keeping my elbows in close to my temples. I'm going to push forward till I feel the back of my upper arms, my triceps work, and then pull back. I only want to let the tension or the slack come into the tubes. For a little way. I don't want to let it go completely. I want to keep that time under tension. So I'm really focusing in to feel that there's still tension in my triceps even at the start of that movement. And from here I'm going to take these down. I'm going to change my split stance so I'm balanced in my lower body and here I'm just going to hit good old bicep curls. So you want to find again that point not where the tension's gone but where there's just a little bit. And then you're going to pull up from there and come back down. Really important when you're doing bicep curls that you lift your arm or you lift your hand up to your shoulder. So you move at the arms and you don't drop your torso. Because if you drop your torso, then there's really not much work happening. If you keep your torso up, you're forcing the biceps muscles to engage for a longer period of time. I like to take, when I'm working with my shoes, I like to take this flat hand rather than a hammer grip. I like to take this grip just because I feel, I feel that there, when I'm close grip, the sculpting tube pulls the hairs out of my arms and it hurts. <laughs> so I just don't do it. I keep them at a broader grip. All right, last but not least, I'm going to hit my crunches. So you can take these however you like. If you want to hit side, your side obliques, you can come up and over the side and then back and over the side and then back. And what you're doing here is working your side abdominal muscles, pulling the ribs down to the hips. So you're going this way. It's going to flip around and do a few on this side. Keep the tension on the whole time. Squeeze and release. And release. So I'm trying to make a C shape with my torso. Now, if you didn't want to do that, if you just want to do normal crunches, you're going to have these over the tops of your shoulders. Walk forward to feel the tension and then bring your ribs towards your tailbone, which is pulling forward and up. And then stand up. Really important for this one that you're planting down through your feet strong. And that you are coming upright and lifting your chest so that we don't scrunch and slouch. All right. And that is us done. I'm going to lean forward, just give myself a little bit of a stretch because these are great to stretch with as well. Oh, there you go, that's my 
final, I'm going to take some shoulder rolls to move out through my shoulders. I'm going to take some rotations to stretch out through my tummy, triceps, one arm goes up and over, and the other arm up and over. So these are just really quick, just enough to flush out the muscles, keep us feeling good. I think we're just over 10 minutes with that, so it might be an 11 minute workout. I'm sure you'll be okay. Set you up well for the weekend. All right, so that's us. That's us done for Friday. If you have any questions, do feel free to write them in the comment section below and we will do our best to get to them as soon as we can. Have a fantastic weekend. We will see you next week.